So there I was in 1985, writing a new definition of the cell membrane. My first part of the definition is, well, remember the lipids that are making up that membrane, the phospholipids? Well, they're organized into a crystalline structure. Well, it's not a crystal like quartz or diamonds. It's a flexible crystal. And in today's world, we talk about flexible crystals as being liquid crystals. So the first part of my definition is, the cell membrane is a liquid crystal. But remember, without the proteins in the cell membrane, nothing could come across that cell membrane. So a plain phospholipid membrane actually was a non-conductor. However, once you added the proteins into the cell, the channels allowed for conduction from some signals from the outside to penetrate into the cell and control its function. Well, here comes a very important point. Channels are very specific. There are sodium channels, potassium channels, calcium channels, glucose channels. Well, guess what? Not all signals can cross the membrane, only signals that have a channel that recognizes them. So the membrane is no longer a non-conductor, but it's not a full conductor because it doesn't conduct everything. It is a semiconductor. So I add that definition to my membrane, a liquid crystal semiconductor. But then I have to define the nature of the proteins that are built into the membrane that are controlling the functions, the proteins that are the switch. There are two kinds of proteins that comprise a switch, a receptor and a channel. Well, interestingly, guess what? There's a synonym for the word receptor, and that's called gate. So I write down, well, what kind of proteins are built into the cell membrane? Gates and channels. And then I stand back and I look at what I just wrote. And here's the definition of a cell membrane. The cell membrane is a liquid crystal semiconductor with gates and channels. I all of a sudden I said, oh my God, I just read that definition somewhere. Where did I read that? Well, I had just bought my first Macintosh computer and I bought a book from Radio Shack, Understanding Your Microprocessor, a simpleton book and understanding how computers work. Well, immediately I opened up that book and there it was right in the introduction to the book. The definition of a computer chip is a crystal semiconductor with gates and channels. Wow, what a coincidence. The definition of the cell membrane is exactly the same definition as a silicon-based computer chip. But then, as I started to match the structures to the functions between the carbon-based chip called the cell membrane and the silicon-based chip that are in our computers, guess what? Piece by piece, each part represented the same function in both the silicon chip and the carbon-based chip. Significance all of a sudden came to me and said, oh my God, the membrane is not like a chip. The membrane is a chip. It's an information processor, a carbon-based chip. And it was only created about three billion years before scientists created the silicon chip and it works in exactly the same mechanism. Typing information into a computer goes through the chip and then comes out as data on the screen. The silicon chip, that's how it works, but the carbon-based chip of the membrane does something very similar. The environment sends signals to the cell, types on the surface, and then the gate and channel switches create that function inside the cell to match what's going on in the environment. And all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, we now have an understanding of the nature of consciousness. And the fundamental unit of consciousness is a perception. A perception is an expression of a receptor effector or receptor channel complex. And the relevance about that is, well, up to now, how can you measure consciousness? Oh, you can take tests like IQ tests and all that, uh, observe animals and their behavior and their responses to the world. That, that shows us that animals can respond to the world through consciousness, but it doesn't show how it works. Now, for the first time, there's a physical expression of the mechanism that converts environmental signals into consciousness. And these are the protein switches.